Hi everyone, today we would be discussing a new candlestick pattern which is also known as closing Maribuzu. So let's directly dive into it. So this particular pattern is a single candlestick pattern where uh, you see that uh, if you don't know about uh, Maribuzu, you can directly go to um, you can directly go to uh, one of the you can directly go to my technical analysis playlist and you will find uh, Maribuzu candlestick pattern over there. First, understand that and then come and get back to this video. Uh, okay, so now that being said, let's start. So what exactly is a closing Maribuzu pattern? Um, it's a single candlestick pattern where you see a long Maribuzu candlestick getting formed. But along with that, what you see is there is no... Um, uh, there's no uh, there's no upward moment but you see a sorry there's no downward moment but you see a uh, you know uh, you see that the close of this particular candle is uh, the open of this particular candle is equal to the low of this candle so the sellers are unable to move the candle uh, the price downwards the buyers have overtaken um, and the buyers are actually pushing the candle uh, pu pushing the prices upward and uh, up and up so this is what a bearish closing maribuzu pattern uh, looks like so what you can expect as you would have guessed that the price will now from here start moving in a upward direction similarly let's understand uh, the vice versa of the same so you have a bearish candle which gets formed and the price and the uh, buyers are not able to push the price anywhere for um, upward so what exactly is happening that your open price is equal to your high so what can you expect similarly similarly what you can expect is the market will now move in a downward direction let's try to understand what is the psychology behind this um so what exactly is happening over here is that um the market opened at this particular position right let me change the color okay so now what's the psychology behind this the market actually opened at this particular position and the buyers there were a lot of buyers in the market right that's the reason and there were actually no sellers um that's the reason why the buyers actually pushed the price or to push the candle um you know up and up and there was no low which was created so the low was equal to your uh, open price so that's why since there are so many buyers that's the reason why we can say that uh, the um, if the Maribuzu closing Maribuzu pattern is getting formed, you can say that the price will now move upwards. Now, um, um, similarly uh, for the sellers as well. But the thing to note over here, or the point to note over here, is that you uh, should look at this particular pattern near support or resistance. So if there is a support line which is getting created, uh, let me change. Okay, so now if there is a support line which is getting created near this particular pattern, then there's a very high chance that people are now actually bullish about this particular stock and they are reversing, uh, you know, they are, they uh, you can be bullish about this particular stock because it is created near the support line. Now, if similar thing happen near the resistance line, then you can say that, okay, uh, this particular pattern is getting confirmed by your resistance line, which is uh, present somewhere near this particular candle. So this is what uh, closing Maribu, uh, Maribuzu pattern is all about. Now, uh, let's look at an example. So let me clear all the drawings. Okay, now here what you see is there was a bearish, uh, there was a bullish pattern which was getting formed. Uh, this is your bullish pattern. So this is the bullish pattern which was getting formed. And now if you have a support, uh, you have a resistance line, which is, you know, present somewhere over here. And you see that there are no buyers. Did I draw it? Okay, I drew it wrong. Just a second. Now, if you see that there's a resistance line, which is uh, present over here, and you see that, uh, you know, but those buyers are now not able to break this particular resistance line and after the open price it is actually getting respected the resistance line is actually getting respected um and there are a lot of sellers that people have started selling that's when you can expect that now there would be a downtrend there would be a downtrend 
uh, which will now be happening. Now, uh, what will be my stop loss? My stop loss will be the resistance line, something somewhere near the resistance line, something above the resistance line. Um, so that if it breaks the stop loss, that's when I, uh, it, when it breaks the resistance line, that's when I, you know, exit the trade that, okay, uh, my trade was unsuccessful and I booked the loss. Otherwise, I'll uh, book the profits as the price goes down. Now, similarly, for the bullish uh, candle as well, vice versa. I, I think you're smart enough to uh, understand how to take care of, um, uh, you know, how to uh, do it for the bullish as well. So, okay, that's that's all. That's all from my side regarding the closing Marikuzu pattern. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.